Welcome to another review. This is a review of the Perfect Air IPA25 dehumidifier. So the reason I got this is because here in Southeast Asia it can be very humid, especially inside the house. The air is very humid. So if there's not much air circulation inside the house, many types of furniture uh, might get some kind of fungus dust which settle in on the furniture. For example, here as you can see, when there's not much air circulation and it's very humid and hot, then some types of natural furniture will collect fungus dust especially if they they haven't been varnished with uh, wood varnishing if you put wood varnishing on the on the furniture then then it will stay uh, clean so the function of this dehumidifier is to take out the humidity from the air. For example, in a closed room, such as in a house or in an apartment. And then it will collect the water in a reservoir, which is inside the unit itself. Or you can connect it directly to a garden tube on the back, so that the water can go straight to the water exit. Here on the back you can connect it to a, a gardening hose and then so that the water directly will go to the water disposal. In this case it's uh, in the bathroom instead of collecting in the built-in com compartment here which will get full depending on the humidity but when I let it run for only three hours, it's, it's already full. And I think the water compartment here is only maybe only five liters big. So if you want to let the dehumidifier run continuously, you need to connect it to a hose on the back so that the water can uh, constantly exit to the uh, drainage system. So as you can hear the unit is, you can hear the fan quite clearly. It's comparable to uh, air conditioning unit at full speed. So you might want to uh, switch it off when you're at home, but when you leave the house you, you can uh, turn it on so when you get back the, your your room will be uh, dry so you can switch it off while you are staying there. So this unit is the 25 liter version but they also have a 40 liter version which is bigger but I ha they didn't have it in, in stock so they only had this this unit in stock, the Perfect Air IPA25. As you can see, here is the here this hot air coming out, and on the back is the room air coming in. So this filter probably uh, needs to be uh, cleaned, uh, depending on how much you use and how the air quality is but I think this this is easy to take off you just uh, wash it with uh, water and if you don't use the hose and you use the included uh, compartment to collect the water then you can you need to close the back with, with the screw when you get the unit all you get is um, this uh, cable holder. When you get the unit, it's um, stored in the water compartment inside. So you need to take that out first before you switch on the dehumidifier.
As you can see, this is the water collection compartment, which also has a handle so you can easily carry it. And as you can see, it's not very big, so it, I think it holds maybe maybe two liters of water and then you have to get it out again and as you notice when you take out the water compartment the, the machine will stop automatically until you install it back inside and another accessory you get is uh, this piece which you can use to if you want to use the continuous drainage system on the back. The one I got here is a separate unit which I bought extra, but you actually don't need this because they already included uh, this piece which I didn't know. So if you want you can uh, connect uh, this piece to a uh, garden hose that you already have for example here uh, you probably need uh, at least two or three meters long garden hose to connect it to the drainage system and to connect this you just uh, you, you don't need to fasten anything I think this is strong enough just for the water drainage and then you can you can uh, sc screw it on the unit itself. And then it, it will redirect the water to the hose. So all you need is, uh, in addition of the unit itself, you need a, um, a hose. I think it's a half inch it's a standard uh, half inch garden hose or 13 millimeters and the screw here i think it's uh, 20, 26.5 millimeters or three quarter inch in case you want to use your own connector so you know the size is um, three quarter inch so uh, this piece as well as the cable uh, organizer is placed in the water compartment box when you open it for the first time so make sure you take this piece and this piece out of the water compartment box before you switch on the dehumidifier and as you can see there's also a green leveler so that you can see how high the water level is inside the water box so at the moment it's down here because it's empty and then when it fills up with water it will go slowly up and once it reached the full capacity the dehumidifier will automatically switch off so in case you want the unit to run continuously on all the time you need to switch the switch connect the drainage system directly to a garden hose and to let the water flow directly outside the unit so it will not use the internal water compartment and this unit is has also wheels underneath so it's easy to roll around on a flat surface it has four wheels which are already pre-installed so you don't have to you don't have to install it separately and also the the water compartment can be opened and closed without using any tools and as you can see it automatically restarted the dehumidifying so on top here you can see the operating buttons 
uh, this is the power on button and uh, here as far as I can tell this is the humidity level in percentage and you also have the option to decrease or increase the humidity level so now I think the humidity level is at 54 percent and here you have a timer to set how long you want to to leave the unit on I leave it on continuously so I don't use any timer at all but if you want to use the timer and let it go off after one hour then I think this display will temporarily show the timer so that you can set it with these buttons and turbo is the the strength of the dehumidifying process you want it at full speed or at the lower speed lower speed is slightly less noise but it will take longer to dehumidify and if you press turbo then it will be more noise but the dehumidifying process will be faster this is the button for continuous operation mode and filter I think is when you need to clean the filter this this button will light up comfort is may perhaps uh, similar like continuous it, it didn't really make any difference whether I press comfort or continuous the unit operates the same but perhaps uh, when you press continuous it's for when there's nobody at home and you want to leave it on all the time while it's connected to uh, external drainage system and on the unit itself you have uh, handlebars to uh, easily pick it up on the left and on the right side so you can use both hands to pick up the unit the unit not too heavy because this is the small unit this is the 25 liter unit but if I would have to say how heavy it is it probably weighs around 10 kilos perhaps so it's quite heavy but luckily it has uh, wheels underneath so it's easy to place it in any part of the room as long as you have a flat surface and what you need to keep in mind is when you place the unit you need to have enough space behind and on the side where the air comes out. This is uh, warm air which is coming out. So you will need at least uh, half a meter all around the unit so that it has uh, space to breathe, to take in the humid air and let out the dry air. So don't place the unit too close to any furniture leave at least uh, 40 centimeters space behind and on the sides and on the front in case you need to take out the water so until now I'm quite satisfied with the unit it fulfills its tasks and it also has a one year warranty on the machine so in case you live in Southeast Asia and you live in a home and area with high humidity, I can fully recommend having a dehumidifier like this unit or even a bigger one because a bigger one probably will be working more quietly. You might think that uh, air conditioner in the house might do the same job as a dehumidifier but in case the temperature is colder a typical air conditioner won't really dehumidify the air for example if it's not very hot if it's like less than 25 degrees the air conditioner 
will not really dehumidify the air inside a room, especially in the rainy season in Southeast Asia, it gets very humid, even though it's not very hot, it's still very humid. So having a dedicated dehumidifier not only will keep you warm, but it will also keep you dry. So I think it's um, important to have a dehumidifier in a humid area also because it's healthier to to breathe uh, dry air so this i think there's less uh, there's less bacteria in the air if if it's it's not that humid so i think it's healthier to have a dehumidifier especially if you live in a tropical area here in indonesia is uh, quite difficult to find a dehumidifier because for some reason very few shops are selling if at all and sometimes they don't have a dehumidifier at all so when I saw one I got a unit so until now I'm very satisfied with it and I can recommend it so that was it from my review I hope you enjoyed it. Well, this unit was purchased at Ace Hardware. It's the only place that I've seen it here in Bali, which is selling uh, dehumidifier, but they don't always have it uh, in stock. So you might need to search at different times. Okay, that was my review of the Perfect Air. IPA25 dehumidifier. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.